Built on variants of the same platform, the BMW X1 and brand new Mini Countryman are very similar siblings. Not only are they basically built on the same platform, they use similar powertrains and drivetrains. Under the skin, both cars are so similar, and even priced closely together. So, with all that said, which car do you buy? Both of these cars offer similar interior space and flexibility to a standard family hatchback such as the Ford Focus or Volkswagen Golf. That means that there's plenty of space for two adults in the back seats, with ample headroom in both. That said, taller passengers may find their knees brushing the back of the front seats, particularly in the Mini, which has a touch less legroom than the BMW. For a proper apples-to-apples -apples comparison, we're going to use the Mini Countryman Cooper SALL4, which is the all-wheel drive variant with a 2.0-liter turbocharged B48 four-cylinder engine. But there are key differences worth pointing out between these three similar crossovers. We won't go over every nook and cranny of the three siblings, that's what our individual buying guides are for, which you're encouraged to click just below, but a recent week spent with an X1X Drive 28i was the perfect spark for us to share a few thoughts. The BMW X1X Drive 28i also uses the same B48 engine and is also equipped with a similar Haldex all-wheel drive setup. So these two cars are, mechanically, incredibly similar. For said Mini Countryman, the starting price is $31,950, which is actually quite pricey for a Mini. However, it still undercuts the $36,095 BMW X1. You might be thinking, for those prices, the Mini is a slam dunk. However, a closer look might show otherwise. To start, the BMW X1 and Mini Countryman might share a similar engine, but the Bimmers packs quite a bit more punch. Also, the X1 might have a big of an interior quality advantage. Don't get me wrong, the Mini Countryman has a great cabin and it's not like the X1 is a Rolls Royce on the inside. There are cheaper materials to be found in both cabins, which admittedly are found in every car in this class. Yes, Mercedes-Benz, too, fanboys. However, the design and ergonomics are better in the X1. While I love Mini's quirky interior design, it just can't compete with the perfectly sensible and ergonomic cabin of the BMW X1. While it may seem like the BMW X1 is the better overall car, and it really is on paper, the Mini Cautionaryman brings a bit of character and style to the segment, while the X1 is typically Germanic and overly logical. The Mini is funky, quirky and even a bit weird. To be honest, if it were my money, I'd go with the BMW X1. It drives great, has a really good cabin that's practical, spacious and quite comfortable and it's faster, all for only about $5,000 more. However, if the Mini Countryman's style and typical Mini funkiness appeals to you, I couldn't blame you for buying it instead. The BMW X1's engine makes 228 horsepower and the Mini Countryman's makes 189 horsepower. That's almost 40 more horses for the Bimmer, making it a bit more lively, getting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 6 seconds, compared to the Mini's 7 seconds. Both cars use the same Eisen supplied 8-speed automatic, so there's really no transmission advantage for either car. In terms of size and practicality, both cars are quite similar. Both cars have the exact same wheelbase, being built on the same platform and all, but the BMW X1 is a bit longer, 175.4 inches compared to the Mini's 169.8 inches. In terms of interior passenger volume, both cars are within a cubic foot of each other, with the BMW X1 having the advantage at 98 cubic feet compared to the Mini's 97 cubic feet. However, the Bimmer has a healthy advantage in cargo space, with 27 cubic feet compared to the Mini's 18 CU featuring which one's safer. Both the Mini and the BMW get six airbags in the full 5-star Euro NCAP rating, with both doing well in adult and child occupant tests. It's reasonable to assume that both are equally safe family cars, even by the standard of the newer models, although the latest family hatches such as the Audi A3 and Volkswagen Golf get seven airbags and score higher for adult passenger safety as a result. Which one should I buy? There's little reason to recommend these cars over competition such as the new Audi Q3 and Mercedes GLA both of which are better value, more relaxing to drive and more practical. However, if you're set on a BMW X1 or a Mini Countryman, the Mini is the one to go for, 
simply because it's cheaper while offering similar practicality and a prestige image. Even so, it's worth bearing in mind that the BMW has a slightly better ride and refinement, and if you're looking at spending more than £20,000, then the low-end X1s will be cheaper to own than the high-end Countryman models.